Hi everyone, Nick Miller here from MiniQuadClub.com and I'm here today to do my part one of the review of the R220 Pro Mini H Quad by Red20RC. Now this review is important for several reasons. Uh, first off is I get a lot of emails and messages asking me about blackout style frames and where they can find a good blackout styled frame. And there's a lot of uh, really crap frames out there on eBay that really aren't carbon fiber or they're cheap fiber or they're glass fiber or they say they're carbon fiber but they're actually G10 with a sticker on them. So it's nice to have a resource that actually makes uh, blackout styled or inspired frames that are actually carbon fiber and can be sourced back to a company that can actually provide replacement parts. So, you know, part one of part one is to talk about that fact that yes, it's a blackout and styled, styled frame, uh, but you know, there's a lot of frames out there that are heavily inspired by other frames, but this seems to be a good source for this type of frame if you're looking for it. Secondly, uh, the importance of this review is that uh, Red20RC offers a service that I don't believe I've seen anywhere else online, which is you can send them your CAD files and they will cut your frame for you custom as a one-off. And that's pretty impressive. Uh, Mike Walters over at Red20RC has a whole line of fasteners and parts you would need to build your frame. So all you really need to do is give yourself some time and some testing and some thought and you can really design a frame and have him cut one for you custom and that's a pretty great thing. Um, you can also, if he you know, feels that it's a good enough frame and you wish to, you can also even sell it uh, through his store. So a lot of good things about this whole Red20RC company, um, more so than just the frame they make, is the idea of them being uh, a source for your CNC needs. And I just had got the uh, privilege to read through some really great CNC articles uh, on Red20RC's website. He's been doing a how-to guide uh, for several months now on uh, how how he approaches CNC, the ideas and techniques and things. So it seems like it's very, very knowledgeable um, as far as CNC cutting goes. And uh, let's review some of these parts of this frame so you can see um, you know, the quality of everything here. So you can determine A, if the R220 Pro Mini H Quad is a quad you'd want to fly, and B, if it's not, if Red20RC is a service that you'd feel comfortable using to, uh, to manufacture you know, a custom frame for you. And I can say that uh, I've already talked to several people who have used uh, Mike Walters and his company Red20RC to custom cut a uh, CNC frame for them, and they've been very happy with both the quality and the service. So. Uh, let me start off by saying that I have done some research on this uh, already so you don't have to and it seems like things are definitely on the up and up so let's, stay, let's dive into the kit just so we can see what comes with the uh, R220 kit so uh, we have some screws and some nuts for the FPV cam mount uh, most kits I find don't come with these so it's nice that this does I'll probably defer to my wire tie method but still uh, nice that they come with the kit uh, the standoffs come in a plastic standoff kit with some plastic screws uh, again for uh, crashing heavy crashes uh, the plastic screws will obviously shear before the uh, carbon fiber plates would break so again nice nice idea there have an all metal kit for the arms that holds the arms and the belly plates and everything else together have a small set of standoffs to be used as landing gear and again they have plastic screws as well which is good because in a heavy crash uh, the landing gear will snap off before any kind of damage would happen to the arms and last but not least, we have the standard um, shock absorption little uh, buffers that go between the Mobius plate and the top plate to, uh, to mount your camera. So um, that's pretty much covers the parts kit. As far as the actual carbon fiber is concerned, um, everything is Taiwan 3K matte carbon fiber. Um, here's the actual um, bottom plate. Uh, as you can see, hopefully it has a, a nice flat finish. I kind of really like the flat finish. And we've seen more and more frames come out with this flat finish as opposed to a really shiny finish, so I'm really kind of enjoying that. So keep that up, guys. Um, some things to note are that the, uh, the holes are really, really precise on here. The cuts are very, very clean. The curved edges and the curved cuts look to be pretty nice as well. And if you look up front, uh, something that's pretty cool is that there's slots obviously for the front cam mount, but there's also a hole already drilled for a swivel cam mount if you need or want to use a, uh, a mini cam on a swivel. So nice to have that uh, right off the bat. I know a lot of guys out there end up having to drill holes in the nose just to do something like this. So it's nice that that is already there waiting for you. Uh, here's the belly plate. Again, 1.5 millimeter carbon fiber. Almost no flex to it. Feels nice. Uh, side profile right there. Definitely fiber all the way through and through. Uh, again, holes are very, very clean. Cuts and curves look nice. Uh, here's the camera plate. Again, you can see the accuracy of the, of the cuts there and the round cut here looks pretty good. 
Here's the Mobius or the camera plate, uh, again in 1.5 carbon fiber. Uh, looks again really nice. The curved cuts and things like that, like that, look real clean. And last but not least, as far as plates are concerned, here's the 1.5 millimeter thick top plate. Um, stiff as you'd figure a 1.5 millimeter plate to be. Uh, actually, maybe even a little, a little stiffer than some of them. Um, again, the finish is this flat, matte finish. And as you can see by the cuts on this guy, uh, both in the logo and in the text. Uh, these are very clean. Uh, there's a lot of curves going along, along here, uh, and there's a lot of shapes in the logo, and everything looks really nice. Uh, SMA hole in the back, good deal, and uh, slots for all the different straps you might need, nice and big and oversized. Again, nice to see, and again, uh, nice, feels nice and quality right there. And last but not least are the arms. These are three millimeter arms. Anyone familiar with the blackout arm has seen arms like this and a lot of other quads use them too. Uh, four bolts go through them. Uh, pretty sturdy, extremely stiff, and since they're so short, I don't see there being any problem with something uh, this short with three millimeters of thickness. They're probably going to be nearly indestructible, which is nice. Um, all in all, this pro version of the kit that's done in, in the, this uh, 3K carbon fiber is uh, $99, which is a pretty good price for a um, 220 sized frame that's blackout inspired. There are some other frames out there in that size and right around that price point um, that I've reviewed, so it's, it's definitely you know on, on par with some of those. Um, I'm going to be building it using these Cobra 2204-2300 motors. Uh, this is actually my first experience using some of the Cobra motors, so I'm pretty excited to, uh, to test these out. And then I'm going to be using my standard uh, Blue Series uh, ESCs. These ones are actually from Multirotor Superstore. I just stripped them down, and I'm going to be custom cutting these to mount on the arms uh, because obviously it's a short mounted uh, kit, so um, the motors are going to get directly soldered to this ESC, and then I'm going to re-shrink wrap all these. And uh, so that's what I'm going to use. These are rated for um, 2 to 4S, and I've had really no problems with these. They run. I've run Simon K firmware on them, and have had no sync issues and no issues with them. So again, um, that's kind of the power kit I'm going to use. I'm going to be running this on 3S since it's a smaller uh, 220 size frame. I really don't need the power of 4S on it. It's going to be a little proximity machine, so we're going to see how that works out for it. And again, um, you know, there's really two parts of this review. The first part is, you know, is the R220 Pro Mini H quad frame for you? And secondly is red 20 rc a service you'd like to use to custom cnc a frame that you may have designed so again uh this this is nick miller from mini quad club and thank you for tuning in to part one uh part two will be coming up here soon and uh, we'll be back so thanks again for the support